family, hope everybody is doing well. Welcome to the channel. Like, subscribe, hit the notification button so you can get all this wicked content. Man, I just watched the live arrivals in Riyadh, all the boxes, it looked amazing. Man, they had music in the background, they had all the fighters arriving. It's looking good. The build up is amazing, man. The Saudis are not, they're just pumping money behind it. They're, they're saving, um, making no, how do you say, what's the pronunciation? Going all out, man, for this whoo, spectacle. Looks amazing. Shows all the fighters being interviewed. The only thing was, when they're interviewing the fighters, these divs, the commentators are interviewing these Johnny Nelson, there's the other guys, they're interviewing these fighters. As soon as they're interviewing the fighters and it's getting into the, uh, you know, like when it's getting into the interview, you want to listen, the bloody music's playing loud in the background, the other fighters coming. Then while he's talking in the background, you can't even barely hear him. Then the other fighters, he's showing the camera on the other fighters, uh, the camera on the other fighter arriving, and then in the background over there, you can hear, barely hear uh, the fighters being interviewed. And then it comes back to them, and you've missed half the interview, you don't know what the fuck they're saying, man. Bro, turn the music, wait for them to arrive and then interview them. But Francis Nagano looked really, really confident, man. He looked really confident. Fresh Parker looked really confident and fresh. Joshua looks very composed and confident. When they was interviewing Francis Nagano, I could see Joshua in the background being interviewed. And he's looking over at Francis. Francis all composed. He goes, look, I'll just go out there just to have fun. You know what I'm saying? He goes, fun. And when you enjoy something, you and which is true, anything that you enjoy, you become good at. It's just, it's just a natural way of things. You know what I'm saying? And if you enjoy, you, it, when something becomes like, uh, like a job, oh my God, I've got to go to the gym again. Well, I've got to box again. Oh my God, I've got to do this again. Once it's that, it's not enjoyable. When it's enjoyable, you get good at it. And it just doesn't feel like even exercising. If you like exercise and you really enjoy it, it feels like you ain't doing anything, really. Like you, you're aching and you're hurting, you're sore, which is all good. But at the end of the day, it's all wicked if you enjoy it. But Francis Nagano looks confident. And why shouldn't he, man? Look where he's come from to where he is. He's living his dream. He originally wanted to be a boxer. I always love an underdog. Man, I would love for him to win. Even though I'm a massive Joshua fan, I would love Joshua to win and to go for the uni uh, unified titles. Imagine him and Tyson Fury together. It would be colossal. It would be an absolute... It would be over 100,000. But when you hear a story like, you can really relate to it. You know, that man come from these humble beginnings. And what he had to do just to get out of there, like, unbelievable, man. And for him, it's just the icing on the cake because he always wanted to be a boxer. For him just to win that title, mate, it was just a very, what, yeah, if, how can I say, you how, how do you say it, man? Uh, elevate everybody in the same time because of that story, you know, everyone would be happy for him composed guy all the time when he's being interviewed he's like nice and relaxed he ain't got nothing bad to say about anyone look the guy is so composed but when he goes in the ring he's a gentleman outside that's how every man should be gentleman outside but as soon as you get in that ring you gotta be a killer killer with respect to the other fight obviously you don't want to hurt him to the fact where he doesn't go back to his own family but like you know what i mean do the business and everybody goes home safe. That's how you gotta be. But, woo, it looked good in Riyadh, man. Friday's gonna be amazing. Can't wait, it's just around the corner. Let it what happen, baby. Hmm. Anyway, that's the end of the video. That's my take on the spectacle, but it was amazing. Right, I hope you enjoyed this video. And I will see you on the next one. Stay lucky, stay blessed, keep your hands up, man. Boom!